Welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice. We, I hope you all thank the Lord for waking up this morning. And I hope you all told your loved ones that you love them. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And God loves you more. We'll get right into prayer. Good morning, our Heavenly Father. We say thank you. We come to you to give you thanks, Father God. We give you all the honor, praise, and glory because it belongs to you and only you, Father God. We thank you for waking us up this morning so we got a chance to get it right, to give you the praise, honor, and glory that is rightfully due you. We thank you, Father God, for your outstretched arm. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for holding back all the evil and giving us an opportunity to at least receive you, Father God. And for those that haven't received you, Father God, we pray this day that they receive you before it's too late. Your love is so beautiful. You're merciful, you're kind, you're gentle, you're loving, you're majestic, you're holy, you're pure, you're righteous, God. And thy name is faithful and true. We say thank you, Father God. Father God, thank you for the gift of your only begotten Son, the blood of Jesus. You know, thank you for him laying down his life freely. He could have taken it back at any time. We are in absolutely nothing. We're so very grateful, God. There's no greater gift than for a man to lay down his life for a friend. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we know we need to work out our own salvation. We have to show thyself approved. Every day we have to work for, on ourselves and uh, strive for holiness only. Nothing less. Father God, thank you for also for the gift of your Holy Spirit that guides us to all truth. And walks with us, talks with us, teaches us. Put the words in our mouth to say when we don't know what to say or how to pray. I'm also uh, guiding us to all truth, also known as the comforter, keeping us comforted and putting uh, the giving us peace and joy and calm that's within that no one can take from us. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father God, for your holy angels that guide us and always around us and encamped around us, keeping us safe at all times and morning and night. And even while, even during the day, while we work and play, at night while we at rest, we thank you for your holy angels. Thank them for fighting that good fight of faith. Go uh, warring over us while we sleep. Because, you know, our fight is not carnal, but no, we always in a fight. And we thank you, Father God, for giving us strength to be able to fight. Thank you for the blood of Jesus, for the remission of our sins. It's paid in full. And we know we're going to work on it. We're going to work on ourselves, and we're going to continuously uh, strive for holiness. That's the only thing that's acceptable. Our time's up. We wish as you wish, Father God, for none to perish. But we ask that you reach out to any and all, Father God. That includes the lukewarm Christians, the backsliders, those that honor you with their mouth and their heart is far away. And also for the lost souls, Father God. We ask that you reach out to any and all. For our loved ones that have not seek you, we pray this day that they come to the truth and seek you, Lord God. We have we know that a lot of them do not understand and that's okay, but I sure hope that they come to the truth before it's too late and give their lives to you. We love you, Father God. You're like no other. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. Father God, we ask a head of protection. Excuse me, Lord. We ask a head of protection around all the listeners, all of uh, our family members and loved ones, those in the body of Christ, Lord God. And for also, Father God, we ask, uh, we plead the blood of Jesus over all of the listeners, all of their family members, loved ones, all our family members, loved ones, and those in the body of Christ. And for all those that seek you truly in knowledge, we pray that they find the knowledge that they're looking for. They seek you and they find you, Lord God. Because anybody that seeks you in sincerity and truth, we know that they will find you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, Father God, we can't say thank you enough. Help us to get through this day. Help us to guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times. Because evil is waiting to pounce and we're not letting him in. There's no place or space in us for him. None whatsoever. Uh, holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin life was given for us to have life. So our life don't belong to us. And our vessels are holy because our Father which are in heaven is holy. And these holy temples and these holy vessels belong to the Holy Spirit. And he alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We say thank you, Father God. We're grateful to you and for you. We can't say thank you enough. We, we love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify that holy name. To God be all the honor, praise, and glory. 
We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belongs to you and only you, Father God. And we say, use us for your glory, your glory alone. And we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we seal this prayer to you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with an holy kiss. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Yes, he is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. But with that being said, we get right into it. You have, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you still have the opportunity right here, right now. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. He's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. If you are ready to do what is right and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then say this prayer. And don't just say it. Mean it from your heart that you're truly going to accept him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I am sorry, and please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life, live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life to be my Lord and Savior. We thank you and we pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, the next step, you are to read your word daily. That means the Holy Scripture, the Bible, you call the Bible. Read read it daily. Down on your knees and pray. Seek the Lord. He shall come. If you come nigh to Him, He'll come nigh to you. That means if you get close to Him, He'll get close to you. And this walk with Christ is not a religion. As many will say, hey, religion, that's a religion. A man made religion is not a religion. It is a relationship, a personal relationship. When you're seeking the Lord, and if you seek him, you shall find him. You'll have a personal relationship with you. He speaks to us, his children, individually on his terms that we'll understand him and we know it's him. Okay? And uh, the same he'll do for you. And help and also repent for your sins. Please repent for your sins. That means you're going to apologize for what you did wrong and you're not going to do them anymore. You're going to turn from your wicked ways and not do them anymore. We're not living a life of sin anymore. We're striving for holiness and holiness only. You're going to be baptized down in water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to be baptized down in water in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now one, in the name of Jesus Christ. You're only going to be baptized down in water. No sprinkle, no, you know, you got to go down in water. Be submerged in water by somebody that truly is covered by the Holy Spirit. Because if they can't, they can't help you. You want to receive the Holy Spirit. Be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, God bless you. And welcome aboard to the body of Christ. May we in the body of Christ welcome you first and foremost. Uh, welcome my new young and old alike and a brother and sister in the body of Christ. We love you all. Uh, may we all pray with you. Pray for you. Pray without ceasing, fast, bear one another's burdens, charity and love, because they they're both, charity and love, cover a multitude of sin. Welcome again, again, welcome my brother and sister in the body of Christ, my new brother and sister in the body of Christ. I love you. God loves you more. We're going to get right into scripture, and it's going to be Psalm 91. One that we should remember. We need that in time to fight, right? Our fight is not carnal. It's a spiritual fight. And those in the body of Christ, remember that is a personal relationship between you and the Father. A commitment and love. Not a religion. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's a good um, battle one. You can use that. If you can remember that, you can battle with that. Come on. Well, we're still on uh, the book of Numbers. Glory be to God. We're on chapter 10, the silver trumpets. The silver trumpets. The Lord told Moses, have someone make two trumpets out of hammered silver. These will be used to call the people together and to give the signal for moving your camp. If both trumpets are blown, everyone is to meet with you at the entrance to the sacred tent. But if just one is blown, only the twelve tribal leaders need to come together. Give a signal on a trumpet when it is time to break camp. The first blast will be the signal for the tribes camped on the east side, and the second blast will be the signal for those on the south. But when you want everyone to come together, sound a different signal on the trumpet. The, tr the priests, excuse me, the priests of Aaron's family will be the ones to blow the trumpets, and this law will never change. Whenever you go into battle against an enemy attacking your land, give a warning signal on the trumpets. Then I, the Lord, will hear it and rescue you. During the celebration of the New Moon Festival and other religious festivals, sound the trumpets while you offer sacrifices. This will be a reminder that I am the Lord, your God. On the twentieth day of the second month of that same year, the cloud over the sacred tent moved on. So the Israelites broke camp and left the Sinai Desert, and some time later the clouds stopped in the Paran Desert. This was the first time the Lord had told Moses to command the people of Israel to move on. Judah and the tribes that camped alongside it marched out first, carrying their banner. Nashon, son of Amenadab, was the leader of the Judah tribe. Nathaniel, son of Zuah, was the leader of the Issachar tribe, and Elijah, son of Helon, was the leader of the Zebulun tribe. The sacred tent had been taken down, and the Gershonites and the Morarites and the Morarites carried it, marching behind the Judah camp. Reuben and the tribes that camped alongside it marched out second, carrying their banner. Eleazar, son of Shedeoth, was on the leader of the Reuben tribe. Was the leader of the Reuben tribe. Uh, Shilimil, son of Zerishadai was the leader of the Simeon tribe, and Eliasaph, son of Duel, was the leader of the Gad tribe. Next were the Roethites, carrying the objects of the sacred tent, which was to be set up before they arrived at the new camp. Ephraim and the tribes that camped alongside it marched next, carrying their banner. Elishema, son of Amalud, was the leader of the Ephraim tribe. Gamaliel, son of Pedazah, was the leader of the Manasseh tribe, and Abaddon, son of Gideonai, was the leader of the Benjamin tribe. Dan and the tribes that camped alongside it were to protect the Israelites against an attack from behind, and so they marched last, carrying their banner. Ahiza, son of Amishadai, was the leader of the tribe of Dan. 
Pegil, son of Ochran, was the leader of the Asher tribe, and Ahira, son of Enon, was the leader of the Naphtali tribe. This was the order in which the Israelites marched each time they moved their camp. Hobab, the Midianite, the father-in-law of Moses, was there. And Moses said to him, We're leaving for the place the Lord has promised us. He has said that all will go well for us. So come along, and we will make sure that all goes well for you. No, I won't go, Hobab answered. I'm returning home to be with my own people. Please go with us, Moses said. You can be our guide because you know the places to camp in the desert. Besides that, if you go, we will give you a share of the good things the Lord gives us. The people of Israel began their journey from Mount Sinai. They traveled three days, and the Levites who carried the sacred chest led the way, so the Lord could show them where to camp. And the cloud always stayed with them. Each day as the Israelites began their journey, Moses would pray, Our Lord, defeat your enemies and make them run. And when they stopped to set up camp, he would pray, Our Lord, stay close to Israel's thousands and thousands of people. The end. Glory be to God. That cloud stayed over them. That's the Lord. Keeping them in all their ways. And, and guiding them and being the guiding light for them to show them where to go. God's willing, tomorrow we come back to uh, chapter 11 of Numbers. The Israelites complain. Hmm. I love you all to love the Lord. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. Tell them about Father God who gave his only begotten son for you to have life for us all to have life that not only to have life to have it more abundantly god loves us he loves you all and he tells us that each and every day but are we are we living life of holiness are we striving for holiness i pray that we are and i pray that everybody has given their life to christ because we you know the time is almost up we're all going home before you know it with that being said i love you all with the love of the lord you all have yourself a beautiful blessed day and um Remember, Father God and Jesus are one. Jesus in the flesh is Father God, who is the Holy Spirit. Father God is the Holy Spirit, and he's in that begotten body of Jesus. So, Father God is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Glory be to God. The Holy Spirit dwells within us. If we seek him in sincerity and truth with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, we can find him. We call on him. We are going to go out. Uh, let me see. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, because we all got to live Christ-like and be like Jesus. Glory be to God. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. God bless you. Excuse my raspy voice again. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful and the things of the earth will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. In the to the most high in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior we pray amen and hallelujah God bless you all bye little ones bye family members God bless you bye bye